My name is Maurice Cook. My full name is Edwin Maurice Cook. Dropped Edwin several years ago. I can explain that later. <laughs> but Maurice Cook, uh, I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I moved here in Atlanta in October 92. Uh, I came here because I am an artist. I went to the University of the Arts in Philadelphia where I uh, got my bachelor's degree in graphic design fine art. Um, I came to Atlanta because the city was awarded the Olympics. So I came, you know, to do some job interviewing. Within one week, I got a job, an apartment, and then the next week I moved to Atlanta. Been here ever since. I love the city. I love everything about Atlanta. Um, it was a lot better back in 92 when I got here than it is now. Um, I think it's lost its southern gentility now with everybody who's moved here now. But it's a great place to be, and so I'm, I'm glad I came here. So um, all my life I've been an artist. Uh, I'm thankful because my mom saw the talent when I was like six. A great story is that I remember uh, drawing on my bedroom wall uh, uh, and I would hide it with the pillows before I left. And uh, one day I came home and there was a strobe light and some paints on the bed with a note said that if you're going to mark on my walls, make it look nice. And so that was my first introduction to being an artist. My mom let me draw on the walls and I painted the superheroes on the wall. I'm a Marvel comic. Uh, fanatic and so I paint like the Hulk and Spider-Man and all that stuff so that was my first introduction to art and so I remember my mother would tell her friends she said you know I don't know anything about art what he do but he likes it and so she just kept me in art school I went to art camps so I, it, I was a one-trick pony all I know is art didn't, didn't learn anything else so um, it was great because my mom she, she was crafted that young she saw that in me and I always tell it all the time I thank her for it because she saw that and like all I remember is just always doing something that had to do with being an artist so that has been amazing and another thing now that I am a business owner of my own you know advertising design agency when I was younger I used to tell my grandmother I, I would call my grandmother mom I say mommy when I get older I'm gonna get some money I'm gonna buy us a, a big house and I'm gonna live on the east wing and be on the west wing because I'm on my own company and so my mother was reminding me that I used to say that when I was like eight you know, seven, eight, nine, and I didn't really, I didn't remember I was saying, but she said, yeah, you would tell it all the time, and so, and everybody was like, okay, and then when, once I went to college, they started to see that, and then, and when I worked at other places, I always worked with that entrepreneurial spirit, like, every time I worked for somebody, I would end up, like, taking over, <laughs> so it was like, you know, you meant to have your own because you're always trying to run everybody else's business, um, so it was great, so I felt like all of that, it was like my family, it was kind of like birthing that in me really young. To, to be the artist that I am and then to have my own business do that. So that's one of the greatest stories I remember about being young that I enjoy the fact that they all poured into me being this artist that, that I am today and so and I love it. And now that I have my own business, I try to do the same through other young people who, who I hire and bring in to try to, you know, if you got that talent, you know, let's, you know, we can focus on that. And I think it just takes one person to be, believe in you and then you can you can make it happen. And that, I think that's what happened for me and so I like that. What it means for me to be a black gay man in 2017, one, out, I just can't understand anybody in 2017 was closet. I just feel like that, I don't even know why that term should be gone because we really just, you just be out. Um, but I also think that it's important to understand who you are, what you are, and whose you are. Um, I know people see God in all kinds of ways, and I'm not here to talk about that, but I do think there's always a higher power that, that, that governs all that we do. And if you believe in whatever that is, it should give you enough strength and courage to be who you are. Um, I'm just a firm believer that, you know, be you like, and be the best you can be. Um, it's important for us now to really stand for something. Like, I just, I think you have to be firm and clear about who you are and why, what your purpose is. Now, it's a journey to find that. I don't think you just wake up one day and say, that's my purpose. You know, you have to really do the work. And, um, and sometimes you have to kind of self-destroy things in you to find out who you are. Um, so you've been given this thing and keep in mind when we're born, we're given our parents' dream. It ain't our dream. It's what, it's what they wanted. You know, and so like you have to like unlive that and then find out who you are. Now, somewhere along the line, some people get lost in that, but don't give up. And so what I tell people is that, you know, and, I've, and I have to tell myself too, you know, Maurice, it's important that you know who you are. Every day, I have to remind myself who I am. Uh, when I go into the world, I got to know how I'm going. This, this is why when I show up, this is what you get. It doesn't change. Anybody tell you oh, that he's going to be who he is because I, I've, and at 49, I, I know who I am. Like, this is me and, and I'm okay with it. And it, it took a long time to get here. It was a lot of work, but I do think that, you know, in answering this question, I just think that it's important that you find your call. You got to find out what your purpose is. And you do have to do the work of kind of deconstructing who you thought you were or who other people wanted you to be and really be clear about who you are.
And, and, and it's okay. It's okay who you are. And if you're okay with it, everybody else can be okay with it. So I think that it, we've made it so easy for people that they just don't know what it means to get on that grind and work for it. And sometimes it means you got to sacrifice some things, which means you may not be able to put on all the name brand stuff. You might need to buy your, shoe, your, your tennis shoes from the Kmart or something because you can't do the Air Jordans right now because it needs to go somewhere else. But it also goes back to that purpose. You got to figure out what your purpose is, what you want to do. I feel like we're losing that. Then on the other side, I think we got some, they, they're just so quick. So they want it like right now. So there's no time for preparation. Everything's like, I need it now. And so they do whatever they got to do to, and then they burn out. So I'm like, you done did all this and invest all this and now look at you. You know, like a year later, you know, you all messed up. And so I think that I would say that we have to take our time with more things and, and understand that it's a, everything's a process. And you gotta learn to listen, listen to learn. I mean, you, just, you can talk to people, they just don't hear nothing you say. And I'm like, you know, I've been here for a while, like I'm telling you. Like, it's not that I'm not trying to preach to you, but I'm just saying experience, like I had to listen to folks who experience for me too. And you have to hear certain things, like you don't need to go down that path. You don't need to do that. Joy. 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 Well, I love the Lord. <laughs> well, you, well, first of all, yes, I, I love God. It brings me great joy. Um, I love it because, I love God because God loves me. I, the, the, just that simple song, you know, Jesus loves me, you know, this I know. Like, I, if it all else felt, Jesus loves me because I'm kept. Like, I, there are things that I, places I've gone, things I've done that I probably should have been gone. But somehow, there's a favor that I got and I'm still here. And there's not a day go by that I don't thank God for blessing me and keeping me, because I realize there's a reason, which goes back to that purpose I talked about. Like, there's, I, I have a purpose-driven life, and so I know why I'm here. Um, joy, with, like, I love to see, I like to see people on the come up. When we all come up, I'm excited. Like, I have never been and never will be, and I like to use the word never, I'm using on this one. Like, I'm not selfish. If I got it, you got it. Like, I have, you can ask anybody. If I got it, you got it. I'm okay with that. You know, and I just think that, you know, I think that every time you give, you know, you, you get in return. And so, when I want to come up, I want to see other people come up too. It, it, it makes me happy when that brother's doing it, when that sister, when she's doing it, he's doing it. I'm like, yes, you know, because we can do this thing. That brings me joy. Uh, music. I love music. When I, I can't sing a lick. Now, I can't sing at all, but baby, in the shower, I'm, you can tell me I ain't Luther. <laughs> I'm a singer. But I love music. I keep music on all the time. Um, the color orange brings me joy. You know, my company is orange. You know, my house is orange. It's like, you, you can't look at the color orange and not smile. There's no, you can't enter a room and see orange and not smile and not be happy. And that's the kind of life I want to live. Like, I want my life to just be, I'm orange. I want you to be happy when you're with me. Even, even when I'm on my soapbox. Like, but be happy. Cause, cause I'm, I am happy. Even, even, even if I'm going off on myself, I'm happy though. Because it's a passion you're hearing. It's not that I'm angry. You just hearing my passion around. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, you know. And so I guess, and and so that color orange is my life. So I feel like I am orange. Now, how I see myself in 2017 is that I like to rephrase this: how I want to be remembered. I say this quite often. Um, I'm not one that's into things and popularity. But what I always want to do, I want to be significant. Significance is important to me. So my motto in life is, you don't need to be popular, you don't need to have a lot of money, but be significant. When you're with me, my time is valuable, and I think that every exchange I have with somebody, I want it to be a significant one. When you leave my presence, you be like, wow, I didn't think about it that way. Oh, man, that brother said that. And that's what I get, and I love that idea. So my goal in life is to be significant. Um, and time is valuable, and as you get older, you realize it. And so like, you know, it means something to me. So when I set up something with someone or we're sitting there talking, yeah, when you show up late, I'm angry because my time is valuable. When you show up and we supposed to be doing something else, then you go into some other mess and it becomes a mess, I'm pissed because my time is valuable. And, and that's not a significant moment for us. Like don't waste my time because it could be, I could be doing something else. And so that is what I bring to community and anybody that knows me understands that. And I'm a stigma that uh, significance and excellence. Whatever you need to do, do it in excellence. I don't, I don't believe in being mediocre. I don't think you should be doing stuff half-ass. Don't bring me nothing half I will give it back. If somebody do something for me, I'm like, I don't know. I don't accept that. Y'all you know, I'm better than that. And I'm okay with that. Like, I really am okay with that. Because I'm like, no, I'm better than that. So if you're going to do something for me, do it right. I need you to give me your best because I'm giving you the best and I'm the best. You know, and so, but significance is what I want to add. That I think that my motto in life is that I experience with me, I just want to be significant. That's how I want to be remembered.